This is Vivek Ranjan and you are watching this Terminal Super Command series with the Coding Battle. Today we are going to learn a very useful command Reverse Eye Search. Reverse Eye Search allows you to search through your history. I will recommend you all to learn about how to deal and manage your history too. Both of these commands will come in handy in your daily job. Uh, we will soon launch a detailed video on how to deal and manage your history, so keep an eye on our channel. We'll start now on reverse eye search. So let's understand this by an example. Say you have a long command that you frequently use in your work. Or say you have a very long or complex command that you have copied from some external source. Now you need to search for that command and execute it. What approach you will take? So in order to search the command in our history, we use reverse eye search. What is reverse eye search? Reverse eye search is an incremental search. It starts with the current line of history and then starts searching for the query string in the backward direction. Backward direction meaning moving one line up in the history and check whether a particular command contains the query string provided by us or not. Enough of the theory, let's see this command in action in our terminal. Uh, we'll press Ctrl R and see we are now in search mode. Now I can search on entire history that is stored in my terminal. Let's try to search a command that is related to JQ. So we'll press JQ and this is just one occurrence. In order to search for more older occurrences, we'll press Ctrl R again. Let's try to find a command that we can use. So this is the command that we want to use. So in order to use this command, we'll press the right arrow. Now this command is like a regular command for us. We can do some changes in the command. We can add some parameter. We can edit some parameter here. So let's try to find out the last five lines from the output of this command. So we'll go to the end of the command using control E and we'll add the pipe and write tail minus N5. It will give us the last five records from the output. Let's try to understand the use case of control R using some more real life examples. So we have a service called Nginx that is running in my machine. Let's try to find a command which will stop that service. We'll search for Nginx. And this is the command to stop the engine server. We'll run it. So it says that the service is not yet started. Let's try to start this engine service. We'll search for start. And here's the command to start the engine service. We'll run it. And the service is successfully started. Similarly, if you want to again stop the service, we'll just search for the stop. In order to search for most of services where we have run the stop command, we can just press Ctrl R again and again. And here you can see that we have, we can stop Postgres, we can stop Kibana and similar other services. In order to come out of the search mode, just press Ctrl G or Ctrl C and you will be out of the search mode. That's all for this video. I hope you will now be comfortable with this Ctrl R or reverse I search. Please like this video and in case you are looking forward for more such informative content, please do subscribe our channel The Coding Ladder. Also do let us know in comments in case you want us to come up with some specific tutorials. See you all in our next video, till then stay safe and enjoy coding.